In this lesson, we're going to learn to write fractions in simplest form. Okay, so we can take any fraction, and not all fractions can be reduced. Sometimes they are already in simplest form. But let's take a fraction like 3 ninths. What you want to do is find a number that you can divide both numbers by. To find simplest form, we will always be dividing. And one of the rules of fractions is that whatever you do to the numerator, you must do the exact same thing to the denominator. And the opposite is true. Whatever you do to the denominator, you must do the exact same thing to the numerator. So what number can we divide both 3 and 9 by? One way to figure this out is to look for common factors. And if we can find the greatest common factor, it'll only take one step. So what are the factors of, one and, of 3? 1 and 3. 1 times 3. That's it. What are the factors of 9? 1, 9. 1 times 9. And then 3 times 3. So there are the factors of 9. The greatest common factor is 3. So if we divide both of them by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 ninths is equal to 1 third. So it is an equivalent fraction, but it's in simpler form. Take a look at another example. 10 sixteenths. How can we do it? We need the factors of 10 and 16. We have to find something that we can divide both numbers by. So the factors of 10. 1 and 10. 1 times 10 make 10. 2 times 5 make 10. 3 times anything? No. 4? No. 5? And once we get to here, we don't have to go because 6 won't work. 6 times 2 is 12, so we're already above 10. So here are the factors. 1, 2, 5, and 10. What about 16? Well, 1 times 16. 2 times anything? 2 times 8. So here we won't have to go above 8 as we go through this. 3 times anything make 16? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, no. 4 times anything? 4 times 4. We don't have to put both 4s because it's the same. 4, uh, 5, no. 6, no. 7, no. 8, 8 times 2 we've already got, so we don't have to go any farther. So here are the factors of 16. So what are the common factors between them? Well, we've got 1 and 2, which is the greatest common factor. It's 2, so we're going to divide them both by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 16 divided by 2 is 8. I can even draw 8 pieces. Here's 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's just a little over half of it. Okay, That's a lot easier to picture in my head than 10 sixteenths. Uh, 3 eighths. What are the factors of 3? 1 times 3. That's it. What are the factors of 8? 1 times 8. 2 times 4. 3 times anything. 4 times anything. So the common factors, the only common factor is 1. So the only thing we can divide by is 1. And what's that going to give you? 3 eighths. So sometimes, if there is not a common factor besides 1, 1 is always going to be a common factor. But we need to find something other than 1. 
there's no other common factor besides one, then it's already in simplest form. It cannot be reduced any farther. Let's try one more. Let's see if you can do this one. Uh, six fourteenths. What are the factors of six? What numbers multiply together to give you six? Well, there's one and six. Anything else? Two times anything? Two times three. Three times anything? Three times two. And what about 14? Factors of 14. One times 14. Two. Two times what? Two times seven. Three times anything? No. Four times anything? No. Five? No. Six? No. Seven. So these are the factors of 14. Common factors are one and two, which is the greatest common factor. Two, so you can divide them both by two. Three sevenths. Actually, let's do one more example. What if you got a little bit bigger numbers? Uh, Sixteen fortieths. I was showing you how to find it with the greatest common factor. But if you notice that both of these are even numbers, you can divide them both by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 40 divided by 2 is 20th. So 8 20ths. But is that the simplest form? Now, it might be a little bit easier to find the factors of 8 and 20. You may not know all of them of 16 and 40. 40, I mean, there's a lot of numbers that you can multiply to get 40. But 20 might be a little bit easier. You could also look at it and say, okay, well, here's an even number, 8, and 20 is even. So I can divide those by 2 again. Even means, after all, that you can divide by 2 with no leftover. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So it equals 4 tenths. 16 fortieths is the same as 4 tenths. But I notice that 4 tenths, I need to move this over. I see that 4 tenths is also even. So I can divide it by 2 again. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 16 fortieths, you can't picture that in your head, but 2 fifths sure makes a lot more sense. It's a lot easier to picture. Now, since we divided by 2, and then 2, and then 2, that's 2 times 2 times 2. That's 4 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. If we would have used 8, if we would have used the greatest common factor of 8, then in one shot we get to the simplest form. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 40 divided by 8 is 5. We still get there. There's no one right way of doing it. But that's another way, is to find something that you can divide. It doesn't always have to be 2. It could be 3 or 4 or something else. But you always have to look. So here, the only common factors between 2 fifths is 1. So you're going to get 2 fifths again. So once you get here, where the only thing you can divide them both by is 1, then you're at simplest form. If you understand that and can do that, you're well on your way to being able to write fractions in simplest form.